What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Sassany, and you're watching Sassy Q Channel. Today, I'm getting into hair, like, simply hair, because I kind of want to, like, open people's minds about hair, because, first of all, we shed hair, we grow hair, half an inch to an inch a month, and, I mean, hair's the first thing you see when you know hair can give that first impression hair is the first thing you see when you look at someone and hair could grab your attention so my thing is like when it comes to hair i'm like very big on hair hair is very important right so you know people have hair loss people have issues with growth people you know people for some reason certain products won't work in their hair people have get perms People get texturizers, relaxers, sometimes their hair could break off. You know, there's so much that can that you can do with hair and there's so much that can be a struggle for you with hair. Now, these are my baby edges. But my biggest question that I had today was, why is when a female or even in any female, African American or any female wears colored weave or extensions it's called ghetto my, from my understanding is i've always been a colorful person so you're gonna see my outfits being colorful you're gonna see my hair being colorful you're gonna see everything on me being colorful because i'm a colorful person now people are like oh she has long hair that's ghetto Okay, there's nothing wrong with changing your length. My whole life, my hair has been short. So, first, my hair broke off when I was nine. I had gotten a perm. I had gotten a relaxer. And I have always, I would always get them like twice a year. And my hair had broke off. So, I went from 14 inches to literally patches and nothing in my head. Like, I went for, I had nothing. Nothing. And so, you know, I cried for a long time because that's a big deal. I feel like it was like, oh, breaking a leg, you know, so which over time my hair did grow back and um, over time I also realized that I do love short hair. I love my hair short. Like I've done finger waves, as you can see in the video, I've done finger waves. Like I'm open to doing any styles and I feel like short styles go perfect with the round face. But people are constantly saying, oh, you, you, you wear long hair. What is wrong with changing your length? You think you're grown. Okay, well, what is wrong with me changing my length? You know, when we're grown, like, it should be our choice. Now, if you have a child, you know, you choose to be like, okay, you're less than 16. You don't need to add any extensions in your hair or your hair doesn't need to be any longer than this. Okay, that's understanding. But why is, why is hair? I feel, in my opinion, hair is art. Hair is art. Why is it being called ghetto? So when we wear colored hair other than our natural state, let's say I'm a, I'm a hair color four. Let's say my hair broke off. Let's say I had cancer or I have cancer or I was like, you know what? My hair is like 10 different lengths. I need to just cut it off and start over or maybe hair lost. So I cut my hair off and then here comes winter. I cut my hair off during the summer and here comes winter. And I'm like, okay, it's winter. It's cold out. It's about to get cold out. And I'm going to want to cover up my head. And I'm not going to want to wear hats. I'm not a hat person. So if I go get a wig, is that called ghetto? If I go get a wig because I just did the big chop or I cut all my hair off or I had cancer, is that called ghetto? How? How is that called ghetto? How is that called being ghetto? So, when, let's say I even got a wig, right? And I wanted a specific color of a wig. Okay. Well, I go get that specific color. Let's say I want neon green, key lime green or whatever. I go get that color. A colored wig is called ghetto. Why? Anything other than your natural state is ghetto, right? So, you're basically saying the seven colors in the rainbow is ghetto? You're saying God's creation of lights, God's creation of color, colors is ghetto. Mm. 
when people get tattoos people get tattoos in color some can be in black or green or whatever red but people get tattoos in, in color when people get piercings they get design piercings or color but when it comes to hair we wear outfits with color we get our nails done in color but when it comes to our hair it's called ghetto when we're wearing a color in our hair but yet my piercings my outfit my nails everything else can be colored even contacts but hair is called ghetto when you wear a colored wig or wear colored weave it's called art just like your tattoos and piercings just like your outfit it's called fashion so for the people that sing colored hair is ghetto would you rather me go in if i want to do if i want so if wearing weave is ghetto let's say i I bleach my hair and I dye my hair a color, let's say red or maybe even green. That's called ghetto. So with me wearing weave, I'm not bleaching my hair. I'm not dyeing my hair. I'm not damaging my hair's natural state. I'm keeping it natural, but I'm adding a protective hairstyle that will protect my hair and help my hair grow. I've been doing box braids for about four months straight now. After I did the big chop. Four months straight. My hair is just about touching my shoulders in the back. When it comes to hair. Can someone please explain to me why. Hair is hair is ghetto. Why is hair ghetto? When people get colored nails it's not called ghetto. That grows too. Are people just saying that because they feel like they can't pull off certain colors that other people are? Because I'm all for helping people get out their comfort zone and wanting to try different styles and different techniques with their hair or wanting to do something different or a transformation, longer, shorter, colored, anything. So I'm just trying to open the mind of hair and why i understand it's the first thing you see within a person it can give your first impression on somebody but at the end of the day like me just wearing my hair how i want it to be i make people smile like people love my hair anywhere anywhere that i go no matter where it is somebody's gonna tell me that they like my hair and it's something they normally don't see it's something that i can express when your hair is done you feel like you're you're besides ladies and lashes when your hair is done, you feel confident. You know, when your hair is done, you feel confident. You can have your hair done and go wear a bummy outfit and you're still feeling confident because your hair is done. Me seeing my hair, there's nothing wrong with my four, number four hair color, but me wearing my hair for hair color, I feel I'm just unique. I want to do other things and I want to switch it up and switch my hair up. And this is why I switch my hair up because that's just who I am. I switch my hair up and I do my own style. I spend my own time doing my hair. I spend my own time doing my hair. Therefore, I spend five to six hours doing my hair, parting my hair, putting my hair in, purchasing my own hair. So when it comes to trying to tell people how they should be or how what they should do, do you have the patience to sit down and do your hair for five to six hours? Because if that's called ghetto for me wearing a color for expressing myself or wanting to wear color that was here before us, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Everything on our body can be colored except for our hair. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So I just want to kind of open the mind because people come up to me like, oh, that, you know, that's ghetto, which I don't feed into the negativity. But I'm just saying, if you can go out your way to make a comment, just because you feel like you can't pull something off doesn't mean that you should open your mouth to make a comment. Now, some people can wear wigs all the time and can't, it, wigs can be addicting, but I'm willing to switch it up and actually 
let my real hair shine as well too and wear my real hair for a while before I put braids back in or something so just wanted to open the minds in every video I do do a 15 second meditation I'm just stating affirmations and just stating how grateful we should be for the in the universe and how strong we should be and um, just how open-minded like if you stay what you're grateful for, the universe will bless you times 10 and open the floodgates of abundance. So I'm going to go ahead and start that 50 second med meditation. Let's go. All right, time is up. And just setting a reminder every day, getting that into a good habit, that one habit right there can manifest you so much abundance. It'll give you reassurance, confirmation, and moving forward, all right? Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you, I feel like you're, I hope you're more open-minded on having colored hair and being able to understand the life of art without someone having to judge you, which don't listen to the negative people. But I just wanted to put my opinion out there on on simply, on simply, like hair itself being called ghetto when we, uh, when we wear colored weave, when we wear colored wigs or anything colored in our natural state. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching Sassy Q channel. I'll see you next time.